Hello Mobile CSP family. Today we're going to talk about using vertical arrangements over screens. In App Inventor you can only add up to 10 screens and sometimes it slows down your app when it goes between screen to screen. So to help with this we're going to use vertical arrangements and just keep it all on screen one. So the first thing I want to do is drop my first vertical arrangement, fill parent, and then I'm going to make my height about 415 pixels, like so. Then I'm going to go back to screen one, and I'm going to make it scrollable here. See how this bar just popped up here? And this is going to be important to go back between the vertical arrangements. We're going to ignore that for now. We're going to drop our next vertical arrangement. So when we do that, we do the same thing. We scroll down, and we're going to make the height 415 with fill parent that way. And then we'll just drop a third one to show you how this all can work in an app. You can have multiple vertical arrangements. So we're going to do height oh, 415 with fill parent. And then we're going to do things like name them. So we're going to rename this one Vertical Arrangement Start, because that will be our start screen. This will be Vertical Arrangement Directions. So we'll put some directions there. And then we will do Vertical Arrangement Pick. So I'm just going to add a pick to show how it goes between them all. So there we go. So going to go up here and on this screen I'm just going to add a button that's going to take me to the second vertical arrangement. So in my vertical arrangement I can still align everything. We're going to call this, we'll just call this button start. And then we're going to call this button start. So we can rename start. Care. Here, we're just going to put some directions and then a couple buttons. We're going to put so we know this is the direction page. We're just going to drop our label, get in center everything. Call it, let's call it click inside and call it directions. Right, maybe make it a little bigger. See that? And underneath that, we're going to drop two more buttons. We're going to make a button that goes back to our home screen, and a button that goes to pictures. So we'll name this button home. Goes back to our home screen. This one will be picture, just so we know. And we'll name them here. Button start. Okay. Oops. Oops, I need button start. Okay, I'm going to say button home. And then we'll go button pick. Real quick to get going. And then this one, I'm just going to drop a big old button right here. Center it. center and then on the picture I'm just going to add an image. Okay. And there we go. Get rid of the text. And we're just going to have that bring me back home after. We'll call that button home the picture screen but on pick. Okay, so now we're ready to program and what we're going to do is this. We're going to take our first vertical, our button here, and we're going to put that in. Now we're going to grab our first vertical arrangement and grab the visible. And when we click the button, we want to make it visible false. Now all I need to do is duplicate and we want to make the button picture. Uh, by directions, B, 
be true. Yeah, we'll just keep things consistent for now. Not really needed. You see what I'm doing, but we'll make that false. And we don't want directions, but we want pick. So now I'm going to duplicate. And when I get to that next one, it was the first button home screen. So we want the vertical arrangement start to be true. We want everything else to be false. Duplicate again. We want to go to the picture one. So we got the pick. We want this one to be false, directions to be false, and then the pick to be true. And then we'll look at our last button here, duplicate. And we want that to go back to our start screen, so we make true, and we make all the other ones false. So we should be all, oops, button home pick. That's what you got to be careful of. And... Ooh, see, I made the mistake. So this is the home pick right and this is the one we want to be by pick. There we go. Now we're good. You gotta look for those little red arrows. So now we're good to go. So here, we just want to close everything out. We're gonna make this vertical arrangement. We're gonna go back to our home screen and we're gonna make this unscrollable. And I like to make these invisible. So we can't see anything. So I'm going to connect it to the phone and I will show you in the next round. And we're going to let it connect here. So when I go to start, then my directions, I should be able to go back home, go to start, I go to picture, another picture, and then I go back. And that's how you make it look seamless within your app by using vertical arrangements.